we'll end up losing within the first half hour anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> All righty, guys. As promised. As promised. Two nights in a row. Can you handle it? <laughs> well, I, I think the, the crowd's excited. I'm excited. We're going to get to play another I game. I my microphone closer to my head so it doesn't sound like I'm echoing. <laughs> Oh, it's been a day, Herman. Hasn't it been a day? It's been a day. It's been a very busy day. Today today was designer hell for me. Oh. So as good. I may have told you yesterday, hello, everybody, by the way. Um, I'm in the middle of writing up the con comprehensive example of play for Plum Island Horror, right? Yeah. So, I mean, this is like typing and typing and typing and looking at my notes from our mm. playthrough and and adding a little, you know, narrative flavor and dialing them up and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a lot of work. Bob, Bob does this with his token. Yeah. And this yeah. is the reason he does it, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. And of course, what, what is the, what is the big thing? I bet you if Mike was in, is in the chat, he, he can answer this question, but what's the great fear? The great fear is you do something wrong and right? you get a rule wrong. You get a rule wrong or you forget something. Wow. So here I am. I'm reading the whole thing through pages and pages and pages. And the last round of the game is a night turn, right? Right. And right. I'm looking through the I'm looking through the play by play and I go, oh shit. <laughs> oh no. I forgot that horrors move one extra area at night. Right. Uh, so now I'm going back to the all the fake cubes which activate horrors. I'm going, oh my god. One of I them was okay, do. right? It didn't really affect the play, but another one I had to reconstruct the entire turn retroactively, <laughs> right? Mm. So I actually have I actually have tabletop simulator open on one screen and my my word document, and I'm retracing the steps and going, okay, well. If that happened, then this couldn't have happened. So now I got to rewrite this part. Right, right. And, yes. Oh my God. It was like, I think I got it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did. But that is, that's, uh, that's some inside baseball into designer hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Tim's in the house. Thank you for coming. Hey, there, Tim. Tim. Well, just so you guys know, today uh, is not going to be just chatty, chatty day. Right. Actually, yes, we have a chatty, um, chatty day. We're going to actually uh, share my screen here. We're actually going to play Defenders of the Realms, which we've got all set up on the background. We're not going to do that right away. We're going to we're going to talk for a few minutes and just uh, take a deep breath. But, yeah, just to, just to let you guys know, if you're interested, we are going to be playing mm -hmm. Defenders of the Realms. Then we got our hero with all ready to go. And uh, it's one of your favorite games. It's one of my favorite games. And um, we, we keep debating. Right, our our biggest problem, Herman. Herman will suggest something. I'll suggest something. We can't make up our minds. So this time, Herman yeah. was like, "I why don't we play Defenders of the Realm?" And I'm like, "Done. No more discussion." Well, <laughs> well, you you had just played it yourself, so I'm figuring, all right, well, all the rules are fresh in your head, right? And I kind of wanted to get refreshed on it too because I was going to bring it to Prescon, figuring that's a great game to play with a bunch of people. Yep. Yep. Right, because it's not mechanically difficult, and it handles a lot of players. Right, exactly, exactly. Uh, Marco, what's up, fellas? I just just hey. this the other day, and he had great suggestions. But Herman, for a new war gamer, what games would you recommend? I've heard great things about your <laughs> Civil War game. Well, um, I won't. I won't mention any of my games. Let's put it that way. All right. Well, I'll mention one. I'll mention one. In magnificent style is usually one of the games that people say is a fairly simple, it's not a traditional war game, you know, in the, in the hex encounter sense. Uh, but it's a, it's a recreation or you wait a solo game where you're playing the Confederates doing pickets charge and it's a push your luck game basically. Um, so a lot of people consider that a pretty easy game to get started with. Um, I always suggest well, you're, you said Civil War. So I always suggest Memoir 44. To me, that is the best middle ground of playability, but it's still got enough immersion where you feel like you're playing a war game, right? It, it's, it's an introduction to the whole Command and Colors uh, GMT line. Um, so Battle Cry, I guess, would be 
the one that I would suggest as far as an intro Civil War game. Um, if you're talking about Hex Encounter games, oh, what's a good Hex Encounter Civil War game? Um, the ones from Worthington, I think, are pretty simple. I think they're a good introduction to getting into that moving, you know, moving counters on a hex map. Yep. Right. Um, yep. I I I recommended that me and Herman we actually got together a couple months ago. We did an introductory to wargaming uh, video, and so I would recommend you go back and check that out because we list like eighty different games. Right. And we talk about each one and we kind of go over what the pros and cons are of a lot of things. And we just give you our opinions and thoughts on it. So check out our introductory to war gaming video that me and Herman did. In fact, yes, that was like one of the best parts of our series that we did was the, I've had so many people ask me about it. And I, first oh, thing I cool. say is, oh yeah, go check out the video I did with Herman. It was yeah. great. Yeah, I think I must have mentioned Quartermaster General on that show because that's one of my favorite games, and that's also a, a nice, accessible war game. Yep, yep. I actually went and looked at that today, and I was trying to find somewhere that I could get it from. <laughs> I couldn't find one. Couldn't Which find one? a copy. Which copy? The uh, the um, World War One. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's it's actually published by Ares now, A R E S. I think they mm. bought the rights from Plastic Soldier Company. Well, I, I had something in my carts in in a place, mm -hmm. so I was like, oh, I wonder if they have that you know game, and I was going to throw it in the cart, and they're like, nope, nope. I'm like, damn. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a bunch. She says uh, I watched that and I gave it a ton of suggestions. He's learning course and leader, but we'll check out those other ones. Good, good. Oh, yeah, if you have any more. Questions, thoughts, um, ask away as we play tonight. If you have any uh, other questions, we're, we're here to answer questions. We're here to give you our thoughts. We're here to just have fun and relax. It's been a heck of a week. We just want to, <laughs> we just want to unwind and play some games and just, right. and, uh, so we're just going to uh, have some fun tonight. Yeah, tonight. so we did decide on this game because you're doing it recently. I was going to bring it to um, uh, PrezCon. And the debate we always have is do we want to – so so playing something on Steam is always a lot easier, right? Because right. all you have to do is right. turn it on and it, it regulates everything. Going through TTS, we have to remember all the rules and make sure we don't screw anything up. Right, yeah. And manipulating everything is a little – a little yes, bit it's not as easy. Yes, yeah. yeah. I suggested a few things on on Steam, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's one of those things that the, the problem with Steam is there's so much cool stuff on there that you yeah. can't really. It's, it's tough to narrow it down. We just gotta, yep, do it. Yep, absolutely. But I mean, there's again, there's nothing wrong with the tabletop simulator. It's just you, and you gotta know the rules. You gotta, mm -hmm. and there's some great modules out there. So. Let's, uh, it's surprising how many games are actually on TTS. Yeah. I mean, even Defenders had, what did we find? Five different... Yeah, several different, different copies. Uh, modules yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, on Steam... And, some, and there's not, some, you know, um, you know... They usually have all the expansions and stuff. And mm -hmm. you know, that way, if... You know, there's many games that I have that I'm like, oh, I don't have all the expansions. But, you know, you can get on the Tabletop Simulator and somebody's made the, made it with all the copies. And, you know, some of the games that's hard to get now, like Battlestar Galactica, you know. Right. You know, right. you can't find that anymore unless it's like two or three hundred dollars. You can play mm -hmm. that online for free, you know. So uh, even with Defenders, we were just looking at the module and there were there were there were expansions and things I, I haven't even seen. Yeah. Yes, they're, they're, they're really awesome. obscure, like Kickstarter type stuff or special promo cards, and you know that kind of thing that you never get to see. Yeah, um, for sure. You know, one game I'd like to play with you one of these days is one of my all-time favorites, and I know it's on uh, TTS. I'm not sure if it's on Steam or not, and that's Summoner Wars. I don't know if you've ever tried to play that. Oh, I love Summoner Wars. Oh Do yeah. You? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, I used to have that. all the little. I used to have it with, 
before the second edition was released. So uh, I don't know what they've the changed. Funny thing is, the second ed- I'm not as happy with the artwork in the sec. The second edition looks a little more cartoony or something. Really? Okay. All right. I, I, personally, compared to mm. the first edition mm. artwork, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if the rules are exactly the same or if they've, you know, if they've changed anything. But I've always claimed that any war, anybody who says they're a war gamer should be able to play Summoner Wars and enjoy it. It is essentially oh, yeah. a miniatures game with cards. Yeah, basically. Yeah. 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 Because, I mean, and you're really putting, clever your, the way putting the card out, which represents, you know, right. your squad of whatever units they are. And each of yeah. the factions play differently, and which is cool, too. Because Oh, they're really interesting. Each one is so different. to where, And every card has the specialty rule right on the card. So it's, right. it's easy to... To manipulate oh, we'll too. definitely have to uh pull that one up and play it maybe next yeah, i love the magic system too where you actually put cards in a pile and then right you spend them right there yeah. right you use use all your discarded cards oh your yeah, magic. It's, yeah. A, it's a really great system but it's also it's also management right so you can you you um as you go through your deck you don't ever reshuffle so if you go through your cards mm-hmm. You don't get you don't get these cards back, so it's a one time deal, right? So yeah, it's, it's got like, that little oh, clever thing really if you gotta know your deck and you know that there might be a couple champions in there that you look, you're looking for. Right. They might be on the bottom of the deck right. and you're like, oh no, am I gonna blow these cards on using them for magic or do I spawn them? It's great. Uh, Steven says uh, more of a Civ game than a war game, but I just ordered the new Europa Universalis. I may have Never bitten up more yes. than I can chew, he says. <laughs> I know what you're talking about because my friend Harvey just got that too. And he showed me a copy of one of the cards. And there's like there's like 30 pieces of information on these cards. It's ridiculous. Ooh. Ooh, the funny thing is, Steve, I played that. I played the board game of that when I was uh, when it originally came out. So that was back in the 90s, I guess. And it's a great game, but it's it's kind of like it's kind of like here I stand. Like it's a brilliant design, but getting it to the table is just so difficult because it's a long, tedious, detailed game. It's brilliant. You'll learn a lot about history, but it just takes a while to play it out. Now, is that one based on the computer game? I believe it was a board game first. A board game, and then they made a computer version. Yeah, and it's and kind of it's really kind of the history of their... Europe. Just through the ages, it's that kind of civilization. Like you said, it's a, it's a civilization mm. game, but a historical civilization game. Oh, there's a million flow charts for the Otoma. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that scares me off too because my number one rule about having a uh, it was a board game. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember playing it. Um, but yet the <laughs> see you in two years. <laughs> Hopefully, the box won't be as big as my my. Massive darkness, two boxes. God. I looked at that today too. You know, um, it, it is and, such a cool system. If you look I at was what it like, does. you know, looking at some of the expansions, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if this is the one her Erin got. And I'm like, holy crap, look at all this stuff. I couldn't believe how much. I I'm like, I don't know what he's gonna do with all that. So far. It's like you t- like a dungeon crawl with a lot of detail, but it's it's really so far really well laid out. So, like, there's no mystery about anything. You know, it's one of those games that uses a lot of icons, and uh-huh. but they're really obvious. Right. I wonder, um, I wonder, does this uh, tabletop, does this have massive darkness on tabletop simulator? Oh, my God. Don't there's tell like, me it does. Somebody there's like 20 copies. Handle. There's like 20 copies of it. Get out of here. Let's see. Max, let me try Massive Darkness 2. Let me see if they have that, too. Yeah, you know, the interesting thing about that is I had the first Massive oh, yeah, Darkness, Massive Darkness like four 2. Years ago. I didn't like it. Complete edition. Yep. Oh, there's like, uh, there's a French version, Italian version, you name it, there's a version. Holy cow. How the hell do they do the, um, how do they get the models recreated on TTS? They take a picture I don't know. Of let me, t- let me uh, see. There's no. Uh, this one doesn't have any screenshots, so it's hard to. Oh, all right. Let me try a different one and see if they have any screenshots. I mean, I know you can do miniatures on TTS. I mean, I, I've played those. Yeah. Uh, Jim Ozarski plays a lot of TTS miniatures mm. games or the historical miniatures. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, that might be something you can teach us how to play, Herman, once you get it figured out. Okay. Set it yeah, up. We can, run, we can go through a nice little campaign or yeah, something. Yeah, you and I love dungeon crawls. Oh, my favorite, man. It's my yeah, favorite. Yeah. Absolute favorite. You know, I, I love my fantasy stuff, and mm-hmm. I love my... Uh, I love horror. I love I, I love it all, Herman. I love it all. It's all great. It's why I have stacks and stacks of stuff well, going up to the ceiling here. <laughs> like I've told you many times before, as a designer, I love doing horror, sci-fi, and fantasy because you can just let your imagination go, right? I, right. I don't have to have books piled up all around me doing research on reinforcement schedules and what you know how a unit performed and what mood a general was in on a certain day, right? Right. It's right. Just like, Hey, I got this idea for a mechanic. That would work really well for a sci-fi game. And then you just build the narrative around it, like why it does that. And Absolutely. you just have fun with it. And you let you let you're like I said, nobody can like, complain like, about, how... about the steampunk thing. I'm already thinking like what kind of cool walkers and balloon units and train right. tanks you can have. <laughs> right. Kind of stuff, right. Right. Mm-hmm. All kinds of cool things. Right, and it's um, very easy to make them asymmetrical, so yep, yep. you can just have fun with them. Yep, you remember the uh, the old computer game uh, Red Alert? Yes. Is, uh, yeah, yeah. it's kind of kind of had that. That, that was as the uh, Command and Conquer, wasn't it called? Yeah, Command and Conquer Red Alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that kind of had was, a, that was cool. You're right; that had some weird stuff in it. Yes, yeah, that had some the vibes that. Um, <laughs> It was always it was the alternate. evil Soviets at the time, right? <laughs> the evil Soviets, right? And their little right. little movies. Remember they had yeah. the little movies in between yes. cutscenes. They didn't have uh, cutscenes. They had like little movies you could watch. That that's was, right. Oh my god, those were that fun. Was, uh, that was like early nineties. Wow, I remember mm-hmm. that. Oof, a lot of fun. Digital scans. Yeah, maybe that's how they. Um, maybe that's how they input them. I mean, there's, there's a lot I, yeah, of miniature games. I don't. I don't. You know. The problem with me with tabletop simulator, I, I know enough about it to get myself into trouble. That's about it. Uh, but I don't know all the really deep, dark tricks. Um, I can just get a mod done the old fashioned way, you know. Right. With right. a chisel and a hammer and <laughs> just snipping. But I know I, I know I know you said several times so um just with your testing with your game designers, you can just sit down, input something, uh-huh. get it added into tabletop simulator and then oh you know let's change the value literally change it reload it and boom you have the on, new value on the fly on the yeah. fly yeah, yeah. and it's, it's, it's interesting it's about three games um uh hill of death and by iron and blood and bolters lead the way are my first three games that i i have never seen physically until i got the production copy right it, it's a weird feeling Right, because everything's been on TTS, and then you get the production copy, and you look at it going, "Oh, all right. I hope this looks okay in real life that it does on on TTS." Right, right. Awesome. But like I said, you know, I mean, David Thompson told me that last year. He said, "Arm, you got to get on TTS and do your playtest kits. It's so much easier." And I was a little reluctant at the beginning because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't tech savvy. Uh, You know, I could never figure out Vassal and all that. I go, "All right, I'll try it." And it's just one of those things that, like, the first time you do it and you actually see that you created a unit and it's on the screen, you're like, oh, oh, <laughs> well, this, is I cool. guess. this is cool. Yeah. What else and can you, I do? Then you this? like yeah. all in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think it's um, it's a great tool for, it, it's, for, it's for a you guys to test things. As just, I mean, never mind as a gaming thing, but as a designing thing, it is a fantastic tool. Because I, I mean, Fred lives in New York. I'm in Tennessee. So when am I, would I ever, you know, when could I, what are we going to mail kits back and forth? Right, exactly. Now, every right. week he and I can play in real time and changing things and adjusting things. It's fantastic. You and I can play. I can play with a bunch of people, uh, you know, right. you in the war room. We, you know, we could all get on there and, and do Each, so. each everyone at the same time instead of, yeah. 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 It's awesome. I, I think, uh. I just, I just don't know how they do it, you know, legally, you know, getting all these games in there. Like, you know, I, I would think game manufacturers are like, wait a minute, you got our game on there. What's going on? You know, it's funny. I've thought of that too, because 
I mean, right? Like you just said, if you right. never bought Massive Darkness 2, you could just go on there. I could just go on there. And I'll it's know not like basketball where they would withhold one right. piece of information, let's right. say the rule book or a chart. Right. right. So you'd have to have that physically to play the game. With the, I mean, you just we just went on defenders. If you never had defenders of the realm, they've got the player aids, the rules, <laughs> everything. You, you could everything. You could just do it. Everything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You could learn it, download it, and learn it, and play it, and never, never worked. I, that's why I'm. I'm, I'm figuring. I really wonder, maybe, wondering how things are going to go forward if if right. somebody's going to put the poo poo on this and then. Well, it's very similar to like the music industry, right? With the CDs. I mean, I right. live buying tapes and cds and albums right. and that's not even a thing anymore i don't even have a, a freaking cd player in my car anymore right right i miss my cds oh yeah i know <laughs> so again like with the music it's the same deal um you know how do these bands make i mean i know they do it on what spotify or whatever you know um i'm figuring that the board game companies must think all right well if we let them do it on TTS, maybe it'll encourage them to buy the physical yeah. copy, right? Yeah, right. I guess. Because uh, the one thing about I TTS, mean, you know, you can't bring it down to the local game store, really, unless right, you put it in right. your iPad. Who the hell wants to do that? Right, right. So maybe I think it's a lot of maybe um, let people. You know, hey, this game. is pretty cool. I like this. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, if I if I had it and I introduce it to you, you might go, oh, this is pretty cool. I want to buy it, and then you go out. So if I didn't have the TTS, like it's like an advanced unboxing. It's like, oh, let's, let's see what's in this game and let me try it a little bit. Oh, that's cool. Uh, there's a oh, big really? company going through that right now. Ooh, I, can you tell I, I think it encourages sales. Yeah, I agree. I, I think I, I think, think that's kind of the thing. Yeah, because a board gamer is a board gamer, right? So a board gamer wants to wants the uh, tactile feeling of units and miniatures and boards and face to face right interaction with their friends. So this is maybe might be the companies are figuring this is a great way just to introduce the game and I you know you and I play it and we go wow we really like this let's go buy it right right yeah, yeah. I mean it's got to be otherwise you know I, when when it first came out I was like you know back when it first came out and this is a couple of years ago you know it only had maybe thirty or forty or maybe a hundred modules I'm like. Mm -hmm. You know, it's only got a couple cool things. It's got a couple cool things. You know, it was only twenty dollars. I'll pick it up for twenty dollars. And they're oh, they're gonna add, they're gonna add a few more things here and there. Now, literally, millions and millions and millions of modules. You you could literally yeah. anything. I you figured want to out the difference between the DLC that you can buy, right? Yes. And the stuff you can get in your workshop. Right. I guess the one is the official yes. version of the board game, right? Yes. Whereas the mods are homemade, I guess, right? I would say yes. I mean, yeah, technically, I think, I think they're, they're maybe not sponsored or whatever, you know, they're yeah. homebrewed or whatever. But I think you buy the official mods because they're more professionally done with better quality and you know all that mm -hmm. stuff i guess hey, hey look and, and you and i know i mean you go through enough of those you see some mods that are just garbage right absolutely and then you get others that are like really sharp right i click so, a button and it walks you through setup and everything i've downloaded right. one of the modules for that i was like wow now i've also downloaded a module that like i tried to save the game halfway through <laughs> and i reloaded it and it literally did the setup again on and messed uh, everything up. Yeah. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So you're, you're kind of depending on those, those people yes. who built the mod, if they're any good or not. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. You got you to gotta test a little bit ahead of time, I mm -hmm. guess, just to make sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get to it. What do you think? You let's do, do it. Killing tonight and, and uh, see if we can, Get some uh, action going on here for everyone. So, uh, Herman, why don't you give everyone the two-second intro and what we're trying to do here. All right. So, we, uh, we're we actually taking two heroes a piece. I have the ranger and the dwarf on the bottom left here. You'll see them. Uh, we have five lives. We each have a quest card next to our guy, and that's just a little bonus we can do if we 
you know, if we happen to accomplish that. We start with two hero cards, they call them. That's these cards down here. And they allow us to do certain things, and they also allow us to gather dice to beat some of the baddies. So if you'll see on the bottom here, it'll have a black die, a red die, a red die, a black. Oh, look at that. Huh. And uh -huh. when we go up against one of the big bosses, we kind of want to have multiple heroes in there because what we do is we play all the cards that are the same color as the boss, and that's the dice we get to roll. Right. Yeah, so we try to gather together to do that. Uh, I didn't get any cards. I guess I should probably yeah, uh, you should have do a that. cards here. So we all so start there. with two cards. Um, I think we draw one each turn. I got I to gotta look that up. Yeah, you draw one at the start of your turn. Right. Yeah. So uh, you'll see this war status chart, too. So it starts in early war, and each pl player draws one darkness spreads card, which spreads the baddies around. Um then when you get to mid-war, so as you kill a boss, this goes up by one. And then the game, of course, gets harder and harder. <laughs> yes. What other way would you have it, right? Well, we wouldn't want it to be too easy on us. So, so there are four happen different... if, if anybody knows Pandemic, this is kind of a Pandemic-y thing. So we're all in the middle here in Monarch City uh, with our heroes. And there are four bosses, one down here. Uh, Gigazel, the corrupt. So they're the demons. They taint. See this thing over here? This is a tainted crystal. Yucky. Yeah. All right. So every time you have the fourth minion put on a space, you're going to get a tainted crystal. In the case of these red dudes, it's every third monster. They they're very, they're crystal. very tainty. Yes, yes. They're very tainty. If uh if we use up all the crystals when the 12th one gets put out on the board we lose the way up here in the top left is the lord vile heart that's a good name i like that vile heart he's got the undead warriors there's those skeletons and stuff uh what does he do he terrorizes us right yes yeah uh terrorizes. Here are the orcs the orcs of course there's orcs yeah uh, their big thing is they're kind of weak, but they multiply really quickly. There's cards in there that make them spawn all over the place. Yes. Yeah, they kind of have their own little rampaging uh, yep. thing. And then, and then there are the... blue cards in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jester has his blue cards in this one. They did not remove them electronically. Um, and this is the dragon uh, sapphire and the dragon kin. These are actually the toughest of the bunch. Ooh, they're, nasty. they're the hardest to kill. Um, so what's going to happen is, as we pull cards, these guys are going to start marching down their prescribed pathways. And if they get into Monarch City, we lose. Uh-oh. Stand up. Uh-oh. Uh, and they... You know, the orcs follow the green trail, the dragons follow the blue trail, the skeletons follow the black trail, and the demons follow the red trail. Yep. So we got to keep these guys away. We have to kill enough of the minions so they don't start multiplying all over the place. And yep. we got to fill up our quests and get enough cards. Yes. Each of our heroes does, does special things. So that's the whole idea is trying to manipulate them so they do their thing. Yep. Exactly. They each have three special abilities. Uh, we'll go over them really quickly. The Ranger gives you plus one to attack rolls when he's on a green location. So you will notice there are green, red, black, and blue locations on the board. So if he's on a green location, plus one to his attack rolls. You also can attack someone uh, one space away. And when starting on a green location, he gains an action for that turn. Uh -huh. The dwarf, when starting a turn in a red location, gain one action for the turn. You may re-roll any failed dice against Dragonkin, which are the blue ones. Blue ones, yeah. And then uh, ignore one wound from minions and generals. Uh -huh. And then the paladin may spend an action to travel on horseback and spend two bases to discard uh, without discarding a horse travel card. 
Right. If any are turned in a location with undead minions, do not suffer any penalties from fear and may ignore one wound from minions and generals. And last but not least, our wizard friend may spend an action to move to any location each turn as if traveling by magic gate. And then I can discard a card matching a color of an enemy minion to be attacked and roll combat dice. I get a plus two to incinerate minions. Incinerate. When drawing, a, when drawing a darkness spreads card, it may be discarded and another one drawn, but the new card must be used. And that is our special abilities. Cool. You also have this special purple card. I have one of these too. These are very powerful cards. When you use them, they actually get tossed out of the game. Uh, the other cards get recycled. This is a cavalry uh, suit. Start at any location, remove a total of six minions. No more than two per location, moving from start location to adjacent. Wow, that's nice. Ooh. Yeah, I have this one, which is Militia Secures Area. Ignore placing minions on one of the locations identified by a darkness spread card. Ooh, nice. So when things get really bad, out comes the militia. Yes. To save the day. All right, why don't you draw us a couple of our cards so we can start putting some minions down. All right, so the other thing is this is the starting location, except there's some uh, randomized starts to these bad dudes. So the way this works is, actually, we have to draw three Darkness Spreads cards. Um, you only pick the ones that have two locations on them. And you place two minions on the two locations pictured. So in the same color. So for example, so we need two red in Orc Valley. Okay. Uh, where are the red dudes? Here they are. Where's Orc Valley? All right, dear. Boom. And boom. Okay. And then two in the Blizzard Mountains. Yeah, so two, two blues in the Blizzard Mountains. Two blues. Oh, wait a minute. That start that does a uh, <clears throat> that creates a, an overrun, doesn't it? Oh yes, you ignore overruns though. Oh, you ignore on the setup. You ignore them, right? Yep. Yeah, on the setup, yep, yeah, we ignore them. So we would actually technically ignore this card. We would not be able to activate this card. So I'm going to take okay. two, two minions off off the board. Oh, yeah, so draw the another one. So yeah, yep, draw a different one. Yep. Okay. There you go. All, All right. right. Two in the Scorpion Canyon. Which oh, we got to ignore that one. Oh, oh we got to ignore that one, too. Yeah. Two in the Cursed Plateau. Two red in the Cursed right. Oh, down here. I got it right there. Yep. And two blacks in the Fire River. All which right. is. One. Oh, down here. All right. I uh, will grab them. Thank you. All right. So that's one card. One card. Yay. Second card is that's ignored. Two red and the ancient ruins and two blue in the eagle pass. So those are good. So two red and the ancient ruins. Ancient ruins. Okay. Uh, um, oh, here. Right there. Okay. Boom. And you blue in the Eagle Pass, which is right here. All right. Eagle Pass. There we go. All right. And the third card. Oh, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Two in the Ghost Marsh. Uh, That's up in the so, top right there. Is that okay? All right. Two there. Two in the Ghost Marsh. All right. And two greens and the withering whispering woods. Wow, for finally some green first, ones. First orcs to appear. All right, whispering woods over here. Yep, yep, right there. Good, good eye. All right, then you draw three cards. You're only going to put one minion in each of these. Okay. God, seems like you're going to lose right away, doesn't it? I know, right. One in the Serpent Swamp and one in Wolf Pass. So a red in Serpent Swamp, which is up here in the middle, top middle. Yeah, okay. And one in Wolf Pass, a blue in Wolf Pass. All right. Over here. Wolf Pass, there we go. All right, second card. Uh, Orc Patrols, that's always a problem later. 
Uh, Rock Bridge Pass gets a blue, and Dark Woods. Rock Ridge Pass, okay. And Dark Woods. Oh, we can't do this one. Shoot. Oh, okay. I'll undo Dark that. Woods. Yeah. Okay, this one's in Enchanted Glade and Withered Hills. Is Withered Hills okay? Yes, it is. Okay. So one in Withered Hills and one in Enchant and a black and Enchanted. So red and Withered Hills. Red and Withered Hills. All right. Yeah, over here. Okay, got it. And a black and Enchanted Glade. All right, right there. Okay. And the last one. Let's see if these are good. Mermaid Harbor and McCorn Highlands. Yeah, those are good. So it's a black in McCorn Highlands. Right there. I got it. Okay. Okay. Right. And a black in Mermaid Harbor. Black so in Mermaid Harbor. All right. So there's our right. setup. We're completely surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> so those get shuffled back in. And just to kind of give you a three day view, a 3D view, you can see there's quite a few enemies out there. Our job is to kill them off and get them and become powerful enough that we can take out the bosses or the generals in this game. Right. And we want to try to play to our strengths and our quests to yeah. see if we can get bonuses. Uh, Heaven's Glen is here, and then if I do that, that actually would work out pretty well. Okay. All right. Hunt the green. So we're gonna have um, we're gonna have Herman take a turn with the ranger, and All I'll right. take a turn with the paladin, and then Herman will go back and forth. He'll do the dwarf, and then I'll do the wizard. Uh, it says yeah, you go around the table. It says so. If we start with the ranger. Well, we can do it however you want. It doesn't matter. We can just pretend we're sitting around the table in different ways. Slide this stuff over. All right. All right. So the ranger gets five actions. So the way the cards work is the cards have locations on the top. Uh, for the, you look at the symbol. Um, this is a magic gate, so I can just go to Enchanted Glade or Ghost Marsh. Or I can travel from any one of these to another. There's only one out on the on the board right now, but I can't really worry about that just yet. Where's your uh, quest? Is to go to? It's the kill green dudes, and there's a lot, oh, a lot of green, green dudes out. <laughs> right, that's right. There's only a couple, but you want to get on green. You want to yeah. definitely get on. I green. I want to get on green and kill green, so I could right. go one. That's one action, right? Yes, sir. So you're supposed to flip these as you do them. Yeah, um, I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> I could shoot into here to kill these guys and then put myself here, which is a green location. Yeah. So the way that works is you if I take move combat in there and then just fight them. Whoops. You, you would get the uh, you would get the bonus, right? Right. So. I'm allowed to, because I'm an archer, and my middle power is I may attack enemy minions one space away as if they were in the same location. Normally, you can't do that. Normally, you got to move into the area. The ranger can shoot adjacent. So I can shoot, and I roll two green dice because there's two orky dudes. Is that, are those orky dudes? They are, right? I don't know. Are they? What are these? They have to be because it's green. Stone grass. So, uh, yeah, they're the green guys. Stony okay. grass guys. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So what I what you do is you roll dice that are the same color as your enemy. So if there's mixed enemies, you can actually roll dice, you know, multiple dice, yep, of different colors. And then what you do is I'm looking I'm looking at the orc warriors, and it tells you up here three plus to kill them. Yeah, yeah. You can also so see that on the the blocks as, as well. But yeah, all right. So what you're gonna do? Shoot them. Yep. And oh, what do I do? Yeah. What do I do? I roll a one and a two. Herman, the greatest <laughs> board game in started. the world. I tell you, oh my god, it's this already started. started. <laughs> so we're gonna, gonna do that again. Oh. we're gonna do that again. <laughs> see, people don't believe it until they see it. There we yeah. go. Yeah, two dead. Kill nice. these two guys, 
And what I do is I'm supposed to put them on my quest card because once I get oh, six. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, them. you got that. Normally, you would just delete them, but he needs right. to keep track of them, right? All right. I got two actions left. So I will move into the Whispering Woods. Yep. And I don't. Oh, and I can shoot these guys. Yes, agreed. And that'll be my last action. Yeah, I'm going to flip them. Yep, I got it. Right. So that's two blue dice because they're blue yep. dudes. Not that it really matters in this case, but we want to be thematically correct, right? Correct, we do. Come on, Herman, you can do this. Need a five or six, I believe, right? Yeah. They're tough. They are all right, tough. well, there oh. you go. There's typical. Uh, all right. All right, so that was my day daytime. Then you have your... Let's see, I'm just double checking here on the rules. Yes, the he's going to take his actions. The active and then player draws two hero cards and adds them to the hand. So I draw yep. two of these cards. One, yep. two. And then night, I draw one, two, or three darkness spreads cards. Based upon the war level. Right. Right now, we'll be just drawing one darkness spreads card. And that's after every player, right? It's not after, it's not after all three of us go, right? Right. It's after every character goes. Right. So one darkness red card comes out, and this just gets applied as it says. Yeah. All right. So what it says is one blue goes in Crystal Hills. All right. And that is going to be right there. Yep. It says two blacks go in the Horn Highlands, which I think is going to be a problem. No, it's not. Okay, there's only one. Ooh, it's really. But it's going to be close. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to. And then it that. says the red dude, uh, who's uh, Igazel, will move to Raven Forest. And he does move, and he, he creates. So the way you read this card is he only moves to the location if it's the next one in his in a line. Yeah. In this case, it is. It says he moves to Raven Forest. So this guy gets picked up. Move to here, and he also gets one minion to come with him. Yeah. That's why there's that little dude right there. Yeah, right there. Not every time will we get to move the bosses, but this was a good example of how the game can <laughs> really get you right off yeah. the bat. All right, that's it for the Ranger. A pretty miserable turn, but what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to uh, kill the paladin. Is obviously hunting down evil undead creatures. Mm -hmm. he does not spend. He does not suffer any penalties from fear, and he can ignore a wound. Right. So fear. Other. Just to tell people if they're watching, fear. The skeleton warriors cause fear wounds to heroes. If a hero ends their turn on a location with one or more skeleton warriors, they suffer one additional wound. So if you're hanging around with skeletons at the end of your turn, you're in the same space as skeletons, they wound you because you're freed. Right. All right. So we spend an action to travel on horseback without discarding a horse card. All right. So it's time to hunt down some guys. We don't like areas with three guys, so you can see up here. Correct. Corn, so just so people know, if there's a fourth guy that shows up in the McCorm Highlands, what happens is you put a taint there and you spread a black guy on each of the adjacent areas, so it kind of blows up a little bit. That's why it's like it'd pandemic bad. like that. This would be very, very not good. So I think what I'm going to do is, which is the palette? This guy here, right? So I think um, he's going to head up north, northeast, northwest. Sorry, what do you think? And go after the dead yeah, up there. So if he's immune, if he's got, if he's good at dealing with those dudes, yeah. Right. So can you get? You can't get anywhere near McCormick Heights, McCorm Highlands, can you? No. Um, These guys are in the way. I mean, I um, could. Let's see. I could one. Oh, geez, let's take a one. One, two, three. God, it'll take you four just to get there. Right. There's a guy here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but these guys are way up there, too. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe we uh, 
Let's What's see. your quest? Can you I do the... to say, where, where do I have to go for my quest? Um, I have to go to the Amazon thing, right? The, <laughs> where was the Amazon? Where are the Amazons? It's probably way far. Land of the Amazons. Here it is. All right. One, two. Th you can get there in three. Yeah, but we'll we'll kill enemies if we're the reward. We roll a die and then we defeat but that many minions in two faces. So yeah, we gotta wait till it like gets overwhelmed. All right. Um, That's actually pretty nightmare. good. Here. Nightmare. Here. Are nightmares the undead ones too? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go first action. I'm going to use my little horse. I want to travel two locations for one, for one action. Normally you can't uh, do you that. You know what? I just realized these bags have, they have basic minions, advanced minions, and elite minions. That's where we keep getting different models. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. That's all right. I want to spend that. another action. I'm going to move into the fire river. Uh oh. Second action. So, yeah, what he has to do, he's got to actually enter the area with the bad guys to fight them. Yeah, and we're going to fight him. We're going to, going to fight him. So that's two black. All right. Oops. All right. Roll, roll, roll. Come on, give us the good numbers. Nice. Whoa! Nice. So we, that's a dead guy and another dead guy. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was, uh, let's see, one, two. That was my third action. I have two more actions. Um, what is this guy? Oh, it's a skeleton. Yeah, let's go up that's there. Skeleton. I'm going to move up there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> a bad omen. That's it. <laughs> One to move in there, and he gets to roll one black yeah, die. One more die here. Let's see if we can take this last guy out. Roll, 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 roll. Come on, give us something good. Rolling big number, big number. No whammies, no. Oh, you need a four. All right, that's it. That's that's all I got. Now we got to draw a thing. Boom. Don't forget to draw your two cards, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wolf Pass is get a blue guy. And two green guys on Greenleaf Village. There's Wolf Pass. Two green guys. Oh my God. Wolf Pass. Where's Wolf? Do you see Wolf Pass anywhere? What color should is be, it? Should be blue. Blue Wolf. Oh, here it is. Over here. Oh, oh there's there. it on there already. Yep. All right. Yeah, blue guy there. All right. And then I got to grab my two cards. You're right about that. And Skeleton Dude goes towards Monarch. Okay. So this card says Black Dude, and it says Monarch City. Oh, that's only – oh, so he doesn't move because he's got to move into yeah, Monarch he would, City. If he was hitting in this area, he he's would move into the city, and it would be over. It would be game over okay. right there. So that's relatively good. Yeah, yeah. That was a good one. All right, so that was the Paladin. Let's see what the Dwarf can do now. Kevin's Glade. So if I get here, I can cause Ooh. all sorts of hell. Oh, Nice. So let me see. Do I have a card that'll get me there? Windy pass. Windy pass. Windy pass. That doesn't do me any good. That's in the other direction. Okay. And I don't want to use the special. Oh boy. <clears throat> Can I? So it's. Where's my dwarf? One. No. Oh my God! Look, we're we're I gotta fight. Oh, that's me. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's your one, ranger. Two, yeah. Three. I can actually go one, two, three actions to get to Heaven's Glade. Yeah, yeah, I like that. All right, so that's one, uh, two, three, and it says the yeah, Elf Guard archers are the finest warriors in the realm. Travel to Heaven's Glade and spend one action to roll three dice. Okay, I'll do that. All right, we need a five or six on one of these Five or six there. on any die convinces the Elf King to join us. The Elf King has agreed to send his guard archers to battle. Immediate reward. Roll one die, defeat that number of minions within two spaces of Heaven's Glade. So I got to roll hey. three dice, and all I need is some five or six. Somewhere five or six. <laughs> we have uh, Fred is in the house there, Herman. Fred! We need a five or six, Herman. Can I do it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I have complete confidence in you. 
There it is, Yay! baby. All right. Yay! So the Elf Excellent. King has joined us, and he sends his archers out, and he's going to kill how many minions? <laughs> uh, so you roll a die. Roll a one. Yeah, roll high. Ah, you son of a. I'm sorry. I guess he didn't send that many good archers. All right, so I can kill Herman two says, guys. You can do it, Herman. You can do it. Heaven's Glade. So what do we want to do here? We want to... Wow. Um, you want to knock these down? So uh, gonna... Definitely take out take out the blue guys because they're the hardest guys. That's a good point. They're the hardest to kill. All right. Uh, but you also can take one of the... One of the orcs. Of the, yeah, because that one would explode if... if... Yeah, we don't want them exploding, so I'll do that. So what happens then is you lose this quest goes away and you draw a new quest. Pirates or privateers? That's a long one. I'll read that later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have one action left, don't I? Yes, you do. Uh, one, two, three. Then I spent one action to do the thing. So I got one left. Yep. Uh so the thing is, you don't want to move into an area with enemies and then end your turn because then they hit you. And I probably don't want to stand here because these guys are going to advance. So I will move back here with the ranger, I think. Uh, doesn't uh, Hang on a second. Doesn't the dwarf, when he starts, what was the... Uh, uh, when he starts in a, start in a red location, he gains an extra action. So if you can, no, I started can you end in a red location by chance or no? No, I started Monarch City. No, but I mean for next turn. Oh, for next turn. Oh, right, I so see. If you, if you um, end in a red turn, right? Is there any yeah, way? Yeah, but I can't can get into here because then the, these two guys are going to hurt uh, me. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's not going to work, yeah. huh? Damn. Too bad. All right. So I'm done. I draw two cards. Whoops, not that card. I draw two cards. By the way, you're not allowed to have more than 10 cards. Per character, yeah, yeah. The only thing I find annoying about TTS is it yeah, they got the uh, <laughs> they do have the they have the, yeah, uh, the dealer thing yeah, yeah for the cards it's annoying it's kind, of, kind of, yeah it's kind of annoying. Um, so by the way, just so people know, if you're just wondering, if I played this card, I'm allowed to use the horse symbol on the top and move two spaces for a move action instead of one. Uh, the magic. The, that that magic um, what do they call them gate yep that one's a little funky what you can do with that is you can discard a hero card with a magic gate and move to the location on the card or to any magic gate on the board there's only one on the board right now right so if i dumped yep. if i threw this out i could groove right to the withered hills or the windy pass yep the other thing you can do is you can move from any magic gate to any other magic gate right and you don't need a card Right. So that gets a little confusing, but whatever. All right. So. All right. And I got to do a darkness to prize now. Oh, yeah. Uh, you don't have to, that. but I guess you should. <laughs> All right. One red in the Orc Valley. All right. Which is here. There's nobody there. Okay. One blue in Bounty Bay, which I know there's nobody there because I haven't heard that yet. It's right here. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then the Orc. Moves into Monarch City, and he's not by Monarch City, so we're good. All right. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. It is time for the wizard. Wizard can teleport, fireball, and he can redraw a darkness spread, so that's very nice. All right. So where do, I think we want to teleport and fireball. <laughs> I think that's what we want to do, right? Sure. Where are the most red guys? I don't think the red guys have really. Uh, there's two here, one there. Obviously, there's Scorpion Canyon. There, yeah. Uh, the reason I was choosing red is I have to discard a card, and the only card I have currently is red. So. Um, yeah, the danger is in people. In case people are wondering, there's two reds here. There's two reds here. There's two reds here. There's three reds here. And if there's a third red, they do a taint rather than a fourth. Right. So they're like really disgusting. They're not very happy. They're not very nice. All right. Wizard's going to go. He's going to teleport for one action. Bloop, right, right there. We're just going to teleport for an action. Okay. 
I'll just spread these out. All right. All right. Then I'm going to discard my red card. We'll just put a discard up there, I guess. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get a plus two to my dice roll, and I'm going to fireball these two guys that are in with me. <laughs> I put two dice, red dice out yeah. there. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. So we need a plus two. They need a four. So I need a two or higher on both of these. Let's go two or higher, please. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That wow. You almost had a one on that one. <laughs> that was a one. It was. Woo. All Woo. right. So these guys are dead, though. That's they nice. are dead, Aruni. All right. So that was action number t- uh, two. Oop. So three more actions. Hmm. Um, What's your quest for him? Let's see. Oh, good question. What is my quest? Uh, he offer powerful magic to heroes. The Mermaid Great. Harbor. Mermaid Harbor. Over here. Actually, I have a quest that goes to Mermaid Harbor too. Very popular place. It is. Yeah. All the way down here. Yeah. Our paladins in here was with a. Oh. Did he's he's immune. Oh, okay, okay. The paladin's immune, right? right. That's right. It's, uh, yeah. If if ending a turn in a normally, location is undead, yeah, normally you end your turn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I misread that. It says do not suffer any penalties for fear. So he's still going to take you right. You would oh, okay. still take one yeah, life. So end your turn with a dude. You t- you get a hit. Right. So uh, he would. Yeah, yeah he's going to take one point of damage. Attack. You're right. Yeah, I misread that. Okay. You just don't take the extra fear hit. Okay. Right. All right, not the end of the world. All right, we got a few more actions for the wizard. Let's see here. What can the wizard there is do? A, there is a repair act, is, right? Isn't there a repair is there, or a rest? Yeah, rest. Wounds, yes. Yeah. So you got to go to Monarch City or one of the inns, and you can get repaired. The inns right. are uh, – there's three inns. There's the Eagle there's Nest Inn over here. There's the Chimera, Chimera Inn over here and the Griffin Inn over here. So if you go there, you can – you can heal yourself, and you can heal yourself in Monarch City. All right. I have moved over with these green guys here, these orcs. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take a shot at them. How many shots do you get? How many do you have left? I have two actions, but I'm going to only shoot one, and then if they don't die, then I'm going to have to move out for my last action. Uh-oh. Um, three plus. I got oh, two. Oh, three plus. plus. Okay, yeah. one is the two's miss. Right. Good job. Yeah. I got both of those guys. There's one. There's one. So I actually have one more turn. And I think what I'm going to do is just go back to Monarch City. Oh, why not? Unless there's anywhere I need. Unless, um, unless you want to go to the Dancing Stone. because then Well, but you get to teleport anyway, right? Yeah, I can teleport anywhere for free. So, yeah, I'll just go back to Monarch City. Stay out of, stay out of harm's way. Okay. All right, I'll grab a couple cards. Mm-hmm. Red and a green. Okay, that gives us some choices for a fireball. And then uh, darkness. Blasto. Here we go. One red and pleasant hill. Right there. All right. And two green in two orcs minor- and minotaur, minotaur forest. Minotaur forest, yep. Yeah. Oh, there's nobody there either. Yeah, right there, yep. Yeah. Wow. One, two. All right. And let's see. Does it uh, let's move? Black dude goes to. What is that? Father Oak. Forest? Father Oak. Father Oak Forest. Yeah. He does he not. He does that's not. That's there. Yeah. So. All right. He hey. All right. Woo-hoo! We, we survived our one first turn. turn. I didn't think we made it this far. <laughs> uh friend is said. Um, it was replying to Marco. Herman has designed a number of systems. They're all great. It depends on your intense interest and where to start. If you are interested in American Civil War, start with Stonewall Sword. For Europe, try the upcoming By Iron and Blonde. I also like the Devils to Pay for the ACW. Uh, Fred's always doing the marketing. and <laughs> He is, isn't he? Look at him go. Yep. Thank you, All Fred. right, so everyone's had a turn. We have not died. Fred, Fred, pay attention because I'm thinking of bringing this game to uh, PrezCon, so I have everything for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back to the Ranger's turn. We are back to the Ranger. Um, he's trying to fulfill his killing orcs thing. I need four more. Are you getting extra action because you started in a green? 
I should be in a green, right? Yep. Yep. You're in the whispering yep. woods, right? There I am. Yep. All right. Let's see. I wouldn't mind killing off some of these guys. Right. Right. So how about you? Yeah, I was going to say, you go there, there, then you can just use your bow and just start shipping yep. everyone. So I do my freebie there. Since I started in a green, I get one free action. That'll be the move there. Then I will, when starting a turn in a green action, I get one action. Okay, I did that. Add plus one to all attacks when in a green location. So guess what? I'm in a green location. Yep. So these guys are going to die on anything but ones. So my second Ooh, action, yeah, that's what I'm talking. Actually, my about. first action is going to be to kill them. Kill them. My first action was actually free. So this is my first real action. Anything but a one. Are you ready for Snake Eyes, uh, uh, I see Snake Eyes coming. Oh, oh look at that. Look Fox that. cars. The exact look opposite. That. Fox cars. <laughs> nice. Holy cow. That's as far away from double ones as you can get. Nice. That's right. They were just reading it upside down. That's all. <laughs> that's it. Uh, oh, wait. I get those two guys because I got to keep track, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yep. So that is the boss. I just oh, put him in the so middle he's there. alone now. Okay. He's alone, yep. So, so now you can shoot the dragon can if you can. I could do that. I might as well. Why not? I got a plus one, right? So they're right. dead on four pluses. So my fours, fours, yep. Yep. My second action is to roll two blues for fours. There you go. All right, come on. I want to see double box cars again. Nice. Oh, oh, all right. Hey, all I right. am regaining my reputation as a you game are. player. <laughs> you are. We can no longer laugh at your incompetence. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're doing pretty good with I'm I'm looking at the side view. There's not a million monsters anymore. That's kind of good. I can actually There's a few, but not that many. That's nice. Spaces. So let's see. What else do we what else can we accomplish? We probably um, want to, I might want to knock these guys down, right? Yeah, I agree, if you can. So let's see, how do I get there? Um, you can go through Thorny Woods. The boss won't yeah. attack you. I'm looking at my cards here to see if I can magic uh, a teleport over there, but I don't. Ghost Marsh, Eagle Pass. Yeah, I could I actually... Know zap here but then i'm in with the dragon mage i don't want to do that no no yeah so i'll move here okay and then i might as well oh, you're gonna shoot those guys yeah okay that's good shoot idea. those two guys because i get plus yeah. one again right yep absolutely Oops. uh yep I yep there's the connection yep. there yep. I got one left after this i'm bound to miss one of these guys i know nah, you're gonna hit them both there it is. There it is, folks. It was only one roll late. <laughs> oh, you could not literally. Oh, my God. You could my not destiny literally. is fulfilled. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is too uh, funny. Oh, boy. I just, it was just a little delayed. That's all. All right. So we need fives and sixes. There's one. There's one. So we killed one of the blue dudes. All right. That's it. I draw two cards. Wow. <laughs> you knew uh, I was good. You knew I was gonna roll snake. Yeah, eyes. yeah. All right, now the paladin actually is uh for you guys down a life. And life are your actions, so we will By the way, I'm getting a lot of red cards, just so you know. So all right, we'll, so maybe we'll go after the, the red guy. Demon Lord. Yeah. All right, let me see um, what the darkness does. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh oh. Orc Valley. Two in Orc Valley. Two reds in Orc Valley. That's a third red. Oh, no. Where are they? Orc Valley. Crystal. You had it right. Oh, okay. Yeah. All hey, right. Tainted, tainted Crystal. crystal. Oh, you got. Oh, right. oh, you. Oh, you put it. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I got you. I thought you were grabbing the third card. one. That's a tainted crystal. We don't. We don't like that. We can clean up tainted crystals. Um, I gotta oh, look up how we do that, but we can. 
Two green, two orcs in Father Oak Forest. Yep, which sounds right familiar. There. Yep. yep, right okay. there. Right next to Monarch City. All right. And the red dude, if he's next to wow, we're getting a lot of these Monarch City cards. Oh, right, that's good. Eight. That's yeah. yeah, that's a good time to get them, though. He's early in the game. All right, Rangers done. He All right, too bad, Paladin, though. where are you, Paladin? All right, well, first things first. I'm going to hit this skeleton warrior that I'm with. the skeleton. Smite him dead. Need a four plus? Yeah, come on. Let's do it one time, one time. No, <laughs> Darn it. Uh -oh, come on. Going. All right, we're going we're gonna to try one more time. I want to get this guy because he... You hurt me. All right, go. There we go. Oh, all right. There Let's we do. All right, get rid of that guy. Thank you. All right, so that was our second action. So I have two actions left. Um, I will... Doo -doo 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 -doo. There's a dragonkin by the city. Uh -huh. I'd like to end my turn in the city. So I will use my little horse to go two spaces to the city. Right. So and then I will spend my last action to heal. I'll heal. Yeah, it's not good to have guys next to Monarch City because there are cards that send them in there. Yeah. So I'm just going to heal for my last action. And then uh, draw my things, draw my card. What do we got here? All right. Two in the unicorn, unicorn forest. forest. Oh, there's nobody there. All right. We're getting very lucky with that. Yeah. All right. Two in the crystal hit two blues in the crystal hills. There's one there. So okay. That's all right. Crystal Hills. All right. Yeah. All right. We can handle that. Uh oh. And we got the bad orc one. So it says next oh, location. So in that case, automatically, it doesn't yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He moves and he drags and he creates two new orcs with him. He doesn't he like the fact that you follow. killed all of his, his buddies, I don't think. Yep. So he follows. Actually, it's probably a good thing we killed off those guys because otherwise he'd be multiplying amazingly. Yeah, over there. big time. All yeah. right. So there's. So just so people know, he's got to follow this green line towards Monarch City. Whoops, over here. Yeah. All right. All right so that's the uh, Paladin's turn. Back over to the dwarf. All right. So the dwarf wants to start in red and can re-roll against reds. Yeah. And he ignores one wound for minions and generals. That's nice. So this pirate card is I got to travel to Mermaid Harbor, very similar to yours. I yeah. really don't want to get distracted and do that, though. There's uh, there's some nice yeah, we do up here. Yeah. yeah, we got to do something about that. So I will play. Where's my horse? I have a horse. I will play this card for two spaces by horse. It's a horse, of course. Of course, of course. Okay. So I'll just, I don't know, I'll discard them this way. All right. You may have to re, uh, reshuffle these at some point. So that lets him move two spaces. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I don't need, yes, I do. One, two. Okay. Yeah. And then I want to roll three, three red reds. dice. Yep. And you get to re roll anything that's a fail. And you get to re roll because they're red dudes. Yes, and you need uh, four higher. Right, oh, so two of them. May re-roll any failed dice in combat, so I can re-roll the three. Yeah. Whoops, I forgot. I didn't hit the right button. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Oh, we're on. There we go. There we go. Hey! hey, hey. All right, all three are Woo! dead. Nice. Well done, well done, well done. One. Two, three. Okay. Now, should I remove the taint or should we just not bother? How do you remove taint? Uh, I think you can only do that with the cards, though. Removing taint. Removing taint. I know there's a thing for that. Found my nephew who just moved next door recently, perusing my point blank today. He was very interested, says Tim. Wow. He saw his, his nephew perusing through his point blank rule book. Well, all right, well, there you go. Blank, he's got a, uh, game he's got a, a budding, yeah, he's got a budding uh, war gamer on his. Oh, that's uh, excellent. Yeah. 
So heal the land. If the hero is on a tainted location, discard a hero card that matches the location color and roll two dice. On a five or more is rolled on either die, the hero moves one tainted crystal. So I have to dump a card. I have to dump a red card. This is the dwarf. I do have those. And then I roll two dice. Two dice. And I need a five. Five or six. Yep. Is it worth doing this early or what do you think? Mm, I think we still have 10. I mean, mm, it's a little early, I think, right? It seems, yeah, it seems a little, yeah, a little early. Okay. Excessive. Um, else the dwarf can kill red guys there's a red guy up there there's a couple guy red guys there. way down here but that's yeah, no, we need to get some of these um magic gates so I got, I got to move one two three actions left now here's here's the tricky part so if i use one action to let's say don't go into wolf pass i got two actions left that means if I don't kill them both on the second action, I have to move out on the third. Otherwise, they inflict damage on you. Well, the dwarf is, he can ignore one to hit, though. So as long as you kill one of those guys, you'll be okay. Um, oh, from all minions? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought it was just red dudes. Okay, so why don't we move in there for one? Basically, you have two chances to kill one of them. <laughs> right. I'll roll two blue dice. Now, these guys, I need a five or six, right? Uh, yes. One five or six would be nice. Ah, there we five. go. There's there one of them. The one is dead. And... Being left with one guy, as you point out, is not bad because that ignores one right. hit. So I might as well just yep. finish it I up and see up. if I can yep. roll a five or six. Yep, I agree. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. All right. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. Fred right. says, so normally he would hit me, but I get to ignore one because he's a dwarf, and dwarfs are tough. Yes, they are. Fred says, it's so cold in New York. My heat pump system is just turned off. Luckily, I have a backup electrical heater. <laughs> oh, no, Fred. <laughs> he's got... Uh, it's so cold, he's lost his heat pump. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Tell I know he's like this North with us. Cold up in the coming. Northeast, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, Tony is with us, so thanks, Tony, for showing up. Tony that... will not be in the war room tomorrow, so we're going to miss oh, him. Oh, that our Tony? Your Tony? Yep, yep, my Tony. Hey, Tony, what's up? Serpent Swamp, two reds. Uh -oh. Two red and a Serpent Swamp is up here. There's already... Oh, no. Oh, we just... Oh, there's, Tainted! These guys and their stupid taints. Yeah, these red guys are trouble. Two blues in Wolf Pass. All right. Uh, over here. And there is one there. Okay. Uh-oh. That's where I was just... Oh, they've reinforced against me. I see that. And the dragon moves to Heaven's Glade if he's uh -oh, Jason. It will move. He is. Oh, no. Oh, and, he, no. and he gets two dudes. Uh-oh. Two more guys come back, huh? Oops. Uh-huh. Oh, right. boy. Things are getting serious. Ah. Get up there. There you go. Yeah, I was trying to. All right. Close enough, right? All right. Leaves us sure. with the wizard, right? Yep. Wizard time. All right. So. All right. Hmm. So I got a green and a red card. I also have the cavalry sweep. Start in any location. Remove a total of six minions. No more than two per space. Moving from start location to adjacent location. Hmm. Hmm. Where is he? Oh, you're in Monarch City. I am. You got two orcs over here. Any place risking a dark woods, two orcs in Minotaur Forest. Hmm. Oh, the Ghost March. You're not going to be able to get the Ghost March, though, because you got to go through these dudes. 
All right, I think I'm going to, I'm actually, does it cost me an action for this? It does not. I think I'm going to use a special card here, Cavalry Sweep. Oh, okay. I can remove up to six. So I so start in any location, remove a total of six minions, no more than two per location, moving from start location to adjacent locations. Yeah. Dragon can count as two. Yeah. So I'm going to take... These two way up in Ghost March. Those two gone. Boom. We'll take these two gone. And we'll take this one and this one. That's six. Nice. That cleans nice. out that nice. area nice. a little bit, right? Nice. All that right. leaves it. So that card is so powerful. What happens is that actually gets tossed out of the game now. Oh, does it? That's too bad. Yeah, yeah the purple specials loot get lost. They're oh, done. That's that's a bummer. All right. Well, let's see. That didn't cost that me. Was a good one. That was a good one. All right. Where do we want to go? Where do we have any three? We do have a couple threes, don't we? We have this wolf path. We got wolf paths here. Yep. Uh, the dwarfs in there with them. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh. come up to wolf pass. Okay. Uh, I don't have a blue card. That sucks. Hmm. Well, I'll just oh. have to. Is that for the fireball? Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. So you got to hmm. fight him normally. This is going to be tough. Yeah. yeah, it will be tough. But uh, uh, we can just at least kill one of them, I think. Yep. Right? Hey, you're a wizard. Don't worry about it. All right, come on. Let's get a. Oh, I there's a stick. You got one of them. There we go. All right. All right. That was. Uh, one action to move and the one action to attack. I don't know. How many how many you got left? You got three left? You got three actions. Do I want to go again? Right? Well, you should be able to get them, right? Uh, he says that with all the confidence in the world. <laughs> After he rolls double ones. Double, yeah, but it's out of my system now. All right, that's true. Ah! Okay. <laughs> uh, the thing is, what do you got? One left? Two left. Two left. Two left. Okay. So you're going to afford one more roll. And then yeah, you got one get more. Out. Yeah. And then I got to roll. And then I got to run. Then I got to run away like a little coward. Ooh! Oh, I got, one. I got one. I got one. Got one. <sighs> so on his last action, if he decides to stay there and he doesn't kill this guy, he's going to give him a hit. Yeah. I think I'm going to move. Over to Orc Valley. Okay. This way I can be where the taint is, and if we decide to clear that out, I'll be there. Mm-hmm. Sounds right. good. Flip a card. I got a black one, and oh, we got another special. Ooh, special. Elven archers remove all enemy minions from two green locations. Oh, nice, nice. All right, and got a double Orc here. Here. All right, we got uh, Cursed Plateau is too red. Cursed Plateau is... Oh, all the way... Oh, no! We have our first... Okay, so you don't place the four. <coughs> so, yeah, we're just going to place the one, right? Place the one. It gets tainted. And then you put one on each adjacent location. That's the spread. And then we got black uh, two in river, fire river. Fire river. I don't remember that coming up before. No, oh, it's down here. All right. So they're okay. All right. And then the red dude goes to Bounty Bay. Uh, and nope. And no, he's not. Yeah, okay. He's not. Woo. So we're good. All right. We got lucky there again. All right. So that was my. I guess at some point we have to start discussing our cards as far as killing big guys. I, how I have mostly red cards. Looks like we still need some more cards. Yeah, we do. I don't like to yeah. go into any fight until you get about six or eight cards at minimum. Yeah. All right. Do we want to start another turn or do you want to take a pause or what do you want to do? Yeah, we can do another turn. What time okay. is it? It is 825.
All right, let's do one more turn. How's that sound? All right, we'll do one more turn for you guys because we love everyone out there. Discard this Nerd question. Workshop is in the house. He Nerd Workshop is actually going to be a co-host on the War Room tomorrow at four o'clock. Can you believe what? that? What? Are you I kidding? I know, right? Into the Lions Den. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, True. good luck to you, Nerd Workshop. We're gonna have a good time with him and and talk and catch up with him. What is what is the subject tomorrow? Uh we don't know yet. We're still, <laughs> we're still in negotiations to try and figure that out. Okay. Well, what's Nerd Workshop's specialty? Um, 3D printing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you see his stuff he makes? Oh, my God. Herman. I've seen some 3D printing that's just it's mind-blowing. He, how he actually is. has, like, specific for the boxes where the cards and the tokens and everything will fit in perfectly. It's, oh, my God, you got to see this stuff. Oh, that's terrific. It's uh, excellent, excellent stuff. All right. The Ranger starts in the green area, so I get a free action. Yeah. And I might as well shoot at these dragon made dragon minions there. Mm -hmm. So my freebie mm -hmm. is going to shoot at them. Mm -hmm. And I get, do I get plus one? I'm not sure. You do. Yes. Oh, oh, it was a four. I would have had him. No. Mm. I know. You got one of them, though. Yep. You got one. All right. Now the re actual actions. I'll do it again. So, so my one action is going to be shoot again with the one blue dude. Again, a plus one. So it's four, five, or six. Well, I'm going to do it again. Oops. I always do that. I hit the wrong button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, do I keep plugging away at him or not? Let's see. What are my other options? It's not a lot of... Hmm. Let's see. What cards do I have? I mean, you might as well. You're in a green location. You're getting a plus one. Yeah. You might as well just, I might as well just keep going until... doing it until I get them. I'm going to fight Odds are, I, <laughs> odds are I will get them. We have complete faith in you. Yeah, we there go. it is. See, there you go. All right, he's out of there. Get him out right. of here. Blues oh, are over wrong here. Wrong way. Wrong way. All right. What is his quest? His quest is. To get you also have another blue one just northwest of you too. Oh, should be an eagle pass here. I do want to kill green guys, but I can't kill them until I get to here. So I might as well shoot at this dude. So next to last action, shooting at the blue dude again. Kill him. There yeah. we go. There you go. Woo Good job. Lovely. I have restored my reputation. Excellent. Um, I really don't want to move from here. I kind of like this spot. <laughs> no, I'll stay right there, yeah. Um. Because next turn you'll get an extra action, so yeah. If you plus, want to end the orcs it. move into here, I can blast them again. So right, that's right. Cool. Uh, so there's nothing else. There's nothing I can do with an action that. Nothing that I know of. Doors at the end, heal the land, healing wounds. I can't do it there either. I'm just gonna have to. I guess I'm just gonna forgo my last action. Yeah, it was a free action, so. True. Two cards. Whoops. One, two. I better count the cards. Oh, I got another special. Battle luck. An active player rerolls all failed dice. Oh, nice. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got eight cards. All right. All right. Let's see what Here's the darkness right. does. Two. Oh no, I know Bounty Bay's come up before. Two in Bounty Bay. Oh, there's one there. Okay. One. Where's Bounty Bay? Over here. Oh, right there. Okay. One, two blues. Two? Yep. All right. Uh, two blacks in Brookdale Village, which is here. Right here? Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. God. No, that's red. Got to go black. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. They're, they're on the... I got them. Yep. Right there. Oh. And then the dragon moves to Greenleaf Village. 
Can it move? No, thank God. All right, good. All right, done. Okay, Paladin, where are you? Let's see. Paladin, oh, you're back in Monarch City. There you are. Monarch City, relaxing. Got two greenies there. All right. He's going to move out. Boom. There's two greenies there. Actually, actually, he's going to use his horse to go right to Brookdale Village. Okay. And because I get... Yes, by the way, and... people, you, you're allowed to move through enemy guys. Yeah. And I'm going to attack these black units, right? All They're right, black. Four, four plus. Come on, let's do this. Oh, one. one of them. All right. I'm going to spend another action. Uh-oh. That's one... Two, three. All right, I'm gonna go again. Yes, now. Yes. Hey, got him. All right. So that was four actions that I spent. One, two, one three, action four. Yeah. Uh, football lose. There we go. All right, one action to go. Um, I'm gonna move up to Rockbridge Pass. Is there a bunch of black guys up there? There's a black guy mm -hmm. here. That way I'll be a little closer. All right. All right. Two cards. Two cards. One. Oh, stop. Stop grabbing my cards. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, all is quiet. It's good. Oh, good. Hey, all right. All is quiet. So when you get an all is quiet card, <laughs> nobody does anything. Nothing. Woo! Gives us a little bit of reprieve. All right. Yep. All right, Dwarf. Where are you? Um, there you are. Wolf Pass, right there. So I could travel to Mermaid Harbor. Do you have a Dragon Mage with you? Oh, yeah. I got to deal with him. So obviously, I got to attack him first because otherwise, he's going to. And you well, get no. uh, re roll. I, mean, I got to get rid of him anyway. So. Yeah, you, don't you get a reroll against these guys? Yeah, yeah, you get a re reroll uh, against the blue guys. Yes. Right. Oh. All right, kill them off. Let's go. There you go. Nice. One shot. Nice. All nice. right. I don't hear any crap from anybody about my <laughs> gameplay now. That's it. <laughs> hey, Viper Dave, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you, everyone. Thank you for coming out to watch some gameplay here. Defenders I'm of the realm. Did these guys being next to Monarch City is a pro? Oh wait a minute, there's three of them over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Um, uh, let's see. Serpent Swamp, Willard. Uh, uh, the wizard know. doesn't have any blue ones, so I can't even take care of these guys either. Man, I don't have any regular movement. I got everything's magic, uh, magic portal stuff. Wow. Uh, so if I move to one, two, that's one, two. It only gives me two attacks. Or, yeah, but you get rerolls. You get rerolls. You'll be all right. So three dice. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Do you? No, you don't. don't yes, I do. I do. Don't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! I mean, uh, that's two. Am I no, starting in a red? Did it's I only start one. In a location? No. So it's one dead, huh? Yeah, but you get re-roll. Get those two re-rolls. Oh, right. I can re-roll these two. Right. Right. And you're five or six. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! All right, you got one of them. You got one. That's you know, at least it'll help from the explosion. All right, I got one left. I best I I guess I well I could take one nah screw it. I'm not gonna take one casually. What the hell? Why should I do that? Oh wait. One, two, three. Oh, I miscounted. Okay, wait. I actually have one more attack, and then I can move out. All right. Come on. Let's get a kill. Kill. What? Uh oh. Reroll. Reroll. That's one Yay, more. There you uh, go. 
Now I'll move out. No, no, no. no oh, no, that's right. I, right. You I, can I ignore don't, one. Right. right. You might as well stay in no, attack. We're good. Yeah. We're, good. we're good. The dwarf loves having one guy left. Yep. Okay. Right? Don't you use that last action to attack him? No, I, that was it. I'm done. I forgot oh, that to flip was it. it. Okay. I just forgot right. to flip it. That's all. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, I got some cavalry moves. That's nice. All right. All right oh, that cavalry one was great. Yeah. Orc War Party. Add one orc to each location that currently has one orc and only one orc. Ooh. Oh. Can... There's two orcs. Two orcs here. There's two orcs. There's two orcs. There's two uh two orcs. I don't think there is any more. I don't think that No, there's no one orc. Look at there's that. No we got like there's Look at no that. singles. Woohoo! They're all doubled up on us. And now let's see if the boss moves. Nope. He would, Black goes to Monarch City. He's Black not goes to Monarch up. City. Nope. All right. All right. All right. We made it. So the wizard. Wizard. All right. Where am I? I am right here. Right. I hate to say this, but we're actually doing pretty well. Oh, you had to say it, didn't you? you I had to say it all out. I understand, didn't he? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, right, here's what I'm going to do. So there's most I'm of the three dragon kin down here, but there's nothing you can do about it. I don't think you can get down there. And there's three gluttons there. This dude hasn't moved. Um, There's three guys over here and two guys yeah, and there. You know, you know, a flying thing or something like that? Yeah, uh, I can teleport. Teleport. I can teleport down there. How come you have so few cards? Oh, you have to keep jumping a card to teleport, right? No, no, but no? when I use my fireball, I do. Oh, a fireball. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, may spend an action to move to one location each turn by traveling by magic gates. So, um, yeah, I think I will move down there. Yeah, it looks like trouble down here somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to move down there. And these guys are red, right? I'm going to use another red guard on them. I'm going to use a red okay. guard on them. A yeah, fireball? I want a fireball. All right. That's what I do. Oops. That's what I do. All right. Fireball. Nice. So we got a plus two to our roll. So we need what? Three or higher? Oh, wait. For four. So I need two or higher, right? Two or higher. Yeah. Come on, twos. Come on, twos are higher. Oh! oh! Missed one, but I got two of them. Okay. All right, so that was, the, that was two actions. One to teleport and one to... Uh, mm -hmm. And you know what? Um, or you can move into here and try to kill one of these two. You got What do you got, two actions left? I have uh, three actions. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the Withered Hill, can you get into Withered Hills and do, deal with these guys? Because if they get a third, there's another uh, taint. Yeah, all right. I'll tell, I will uh, move up there. And then... Uh, two reds. Two reds. All right. Unfortunately, let's do some high rolls here, baby. High rolls. Four, five, or six. Ah, mm -hmm. One of them. One of them. One. I got one action left. Do I run? <laughs> I would say run only because we're not you know really. Right. We're what I'm gonna do? I want to go. I want to go to the end. Yeah. I want to go to the end. Yeah. Because I can go to the end, and then I can get cards from the end. Uh -huh. So we'll just cool. end our turn on the end. There we go. Nice. All right, and then we our cards. cards. Another black one. I got three blacks. Wow. Look at all your black cards. My God. Wow. Did you shuffle? <laughs> <laughs> all right. What do we got? It's blue. One in bounty. Bay. Uh oh, Mountain Bay. That's there's. A, I'm in there with the one dragon kin. Okay, so all I can right, kill right. it next time. Two in the dancing stone. Oh, two black guys in a dancing stone. That's over here with the uh, magic. Uh, oh, uh, dancing uh, they're next to Monarch City there. Yeah. And the dragon moves to Monarch City. Wow, we're getting a lot of those cards. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. 
That is crazy. That is weird. All right, I'm going All to right. uh, save this game here. Yep. It's going to save game. Awesome. The realm. Save it. I actually think we're doing okay. He says his, yeah, yeah, I think we're doing okay too. It wasn't too bad. Uh wasn't too bad. Let's uh let's go back to just full screen us. There we go. Okay. All right, so that was a lot of fun. A little Defenders of the Realm. We'll have to pick this up uh next week or next time we get together and see if we can it's chaotic win fun, which I yeah. enjoy. <laughs> it is it is a it's a good time. It's a good time. Yeah, you can tell the pandemic influence. I think I think uh, Richard Lonius admitted that he was basically making a pandemic engine for a, a fantasy game. So well, I mean there's yeah, there's I mean it is very pandemic like, but I mean, you know, with the superpowers and each hero having their own abilities and and the generals and you know that's all kind of new stuff so yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we only scratch the surface i mean there's there's expansions and stuff that just add so much so many other layers to it um yeah but again it, it this is might be an example of a game that if you played with all the expansions it's just too much and it starts degrading the game itself right yeah, and there's I mean, a lot it of could definitely like it adds a lot of stuff. I'm, you guys didn't even see all the stuff, but there's different yeah. levels of enemies you're fighting. So right. I uh, mean, there, there there are there are games that I think you're you're good at the core game and maybe one or two expansions, and then it's that's that sweet spot. Then as you add more on there, it just really kind of adds just more friction without actually adding a lot to the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, this might and be it's one of the things that you have to be really proficient with the game, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you're not, true. then it really slows it down. But I mean, Absolutely. some people that no, play I it totally a lot. Agree. You, you play this like, game a lot. You're like, right. If you're cruising through the core game, then maybe, yeah, then you start adding the other stuff. But exactly. if you're so so with the core game and then you're adding more and more layers, you're going to get right. lost. It, yeah, it's going to exactly. get buried. Yeah. It's, yeah, there's, and we didn't show you guys, but there's like, I think there was like 50 some different characters. There was oh my god, so many different there was another heroes. table of stuff that we could have got. Right. And we're like, so, no, no, let's yeah. just stay with the base. I actually game. have the physical game down there somewhere. And there are minions that are considered um elite minions, and they right. come in at certain times and they're harder to kill than the normal minions, and they also do something else to you that the normal minions don't do. Right. That's fairly easy to keep track of once you get comfortable with the game. But I mean, beyond that, it's not worth it. It's just too much work then at that point. Right. I mean, there's a lot to keep track of with just, you know, running your characters and their special powers or quests, the cards, which cards you can right. use. You know, very easy to forget. Got. There's a lot of I've stuff done. to keep track of. <laughs> right. It's very easy to forget what your special powers are. You had to remind me a couple of times. You're like, oh, no, this guy does that. Uh, which is, I mean, let's face it, that's, that's the typical problem with all these types of mm. games, right? I mean, it's right. great to have all that, but to actually remember right. that your guy does certain right. things or doesn't do certain things or is immune to certain things, that's, right. that's the key. Well, the, the thing with this is, is each character has three special abilities. So mm -hmm. you've got four characters, three special abilities. It's 12 special abilities just on the character. Right. Right. I mean, the only positive side of that is they seem to be related to one another yeah. a little bit, right. so it's a little easier to. to right. But you're right; it, it, it is. It's uh, it's a bit of work. It is. Fred says uh, that's called Gronard capture. The hardcore gamers depend even more complexity, and it becomes unplayable for new players jumping in the deep end. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You don't want to jump. Poof. Yeah. And and uh, you know you had mentioned um, Battle War, one of my all time favorites. That also, mm -hmm. you know, you start off with just uh, the base game and a couple right. expansions, you're good. But man, when you start getting all that advanced stuff in there, woo, yeah, that totally good. That's really a good cool. example, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, you got all these extra factions that do all these other weird things, and it's just you, you lose track after a while. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. It's only it human. takes you know? the the fun. The fun aspect of oh, I can get this game done in an hour. Then all of a sudden, it's like two hours. You're like, what the hell? 
Yeah, there's no question. I know uh, I know the secret cabal talks about that all the time of you know that you reach there's that that what do they call it marginal utility, right? Or you know that perfect spot where the expansions enhance the game and then you get to the negative side, right? Where the expansions are actually starting to detract from the game. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That would be a whole discussion one day. <laughs> Maybe uh, that'll be our subject tomorrow in the war room. There you go. Ooh, There's an many, idea for how you. How many expansions are too many, right? Yeah. Because uh, mm, that's a, that might be a good subject. I might have to it's talk a good about subject. That. I think, generally speaking, if the expansion just adds just more cards to the core game, you're okay, right? Because it hasn't changed anything mechanically. It's just giving you more normal, yes, normal, right? Yeah. More variability within the right. structure of the core game, right? But it starts adding more mechanics and more stuff and more things to worry about, and more, you know, sub mechanics and mm. that kind of thing. Then you got more to think about. But if you're right. just adding more to the core game, that's fine. I think, right? I mean, the Dominion. I think probably the first couple expansions just added more cards. But they still weaved into the basic core game mechanics fine, right? So it wasn't. Yes. It wasn't like yes. you had to relearn. It the was game. designed that way. The, the core game was designed without anything special, and then the first couple of games were basically like two said, especially the first expansion. The first expansion was literally just more cards, right. no new mechanics, no new boards. Now the second expansion added a new mechanic, and they started experimenting and adding more to it, mm -hmm. but. At that point, you know, it'd been out for a year or two and people had played it enough that they were like, oh, okay, I'm ready for something now. I'm ready for right, the next right. step, right? So, and I think people have to be careful of that because, like, if you're just starting on a series, you don't have to get everything right away. Right. Right. It's true. Yeah. You should. You should, but you don't eventually, have to. <laughs> eventually, right? But you're right. So this goes as you into say, as you say, as we see your huge stack of. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I took all the expansion, throw them in the back, and those will not be open for a while. No. But like you said, when you're learning a new series, it's the same thing, right? Right. right. So you you kind of want to you you should layer your experience and build on it rather right. than dive like you said into the deep end and get overwhelmed. Tony says Jester gets all the expansions. Ah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. And it's you can true. get them all, but you don't have to use them all. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. You don't have to. And that and um, you know, taking some like uh, it's it, you know, kind of going along with your um, massive darkness is is uh, is um, what the hell is it called? Wingspan, right? So I got all the expansions for Wingspan after right. I played Wingspan. And the, each of the expansions, there's three of them, add new things, and all of a sudden you got new, you got new resources, you got new cards, you got uh, new board to play with, and I'm like, well, right. I was overwhelmed. Like literally, I went from the just the core game and, and being able to play that. Now all of a sudden, I'm trying to add three expansions. I'm like, oh my god, this is too much. It was went too much right off the bat. Yeah, um, I think Eldritch Horror does that a little bit too, right? Because you're adding a whole board, you know. Yeah, now depending on which expansion you get. It's true. Look at Arkham Horror. Yeah, uh, that's what Tony just said as well. Right, and Eldritch Horror is the same thing, right? Uh, I never spend... Jim says he never buys the expansions. It actually sp spends oh. less that way. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I love expansions, though. I'm an expansion junkie. Yeah, there's a little great. FOMO going on, right? You just want to have them because you know you have them. But I think what I've learned is just because you're having enough to use them right away, and I think people make that mistake of just throw. And I and I literally did that with Massive Darkness. I was sorting it all, and I go, wait, stop. I'm just gonna do the the core game, all the expansions and extras and Kickstarter specials go off to the side. I'm just gonna learn the damn game from the start. Right. Right, yeah. and I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, absolutely the best way. Um, cool. Until you get familiar with it, and then yeah. once you do, then then you start adding a few things in mm -hmm. a little bit. So there I you go, everybody. Uh, yeah, well, even with Plum Island Horror, we're you know we're already talking about what would you do for an expansion, like if it does well, and 
Certainly, I'm not going to add any more mechanics, but we'll add some more factions you could play. Factions to right? play. Maybe a couple more weird horror type things, but it's all new going to fit card. within the context of the original yeah. game. Yes. Right. Maybe right. a new uh, a new character named ID, and then a second character <laughs> named Jester, and then if they're both, yeah. if you get both the ID and the Jester at the same time, you win the game <laughs> automatically. That's right. <laughs> the perfect combo. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming thank out. Thank you for watching. Really I hope it was entertaining. I mean, I love this it. game. It's just so much fun. And we will be overwhelmed <laughs> the next time we play. I can yes, we, I think it. we're doing okay. It's just yeah. a matter of uh we got really lucky with none of the bosses moving. We're not under pressure. Wait until the bosses we get like three turns in a row where it's boss move, boss move, boss move. Mm -hmm. And then we're under pressure. We're like, we got to go get the red guy. We got to go get the red guy because he's on our base. By the way, if you want another subject from a designing uh, inside baseball thing, it's a game like this that's so hard to balance because it's so variable on how the cards come out that when you're play testing, and Fred Fred will attest to this, you're not sh you have to play it so many times because there's so much variability within the outcome that you're not sure if it's balanced because you're not right. right. The first couple of times you play, maybe you've got a weird, there? yeah, right. Yeah. You got a weird set of cards or something, and it's right. Been, so yeah, that's uh, that uh, must have been tough to play test. There's just right. so much variability, which is part of the attraction to it. But balancing it, and making sure that in the end you have a fair shot each time, right. It's tough. It's not. It's it's hard enough for the players, but it's not too easy either. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You gotta you gotta find that, like you said, that sweet spot. Yeah. As a designer, you gotta find a lot of sweet spots. Right. right, and you gotta make sure that people realize. Well, the first time I played it, I got my ass kicked within three turns, but there's there's an upside. Like if I play it again immediately, right. now all right. of a sudden maybe I'll did, get to did that. Did you get? Did you know? Are you learning the game? Was it that why you lost and you were doing dumb things with your actions, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And then you go, oh, okay, I see. I gotta, I gotta spend. I, I don't want to just keep moving around. I want to go to an area and I want to kill all the monsters there. Oh, that right. makes sense now, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it feels like we're doing the right thing right now. I'm not exactly sure if we are or not. But <laughs> it's it's one of those games where you can't waste your actions because yeah. it's a resource. You have so many actions mm -hmm. to use. And if you waste them, you know, not doing or, or missing attacks or whatever, that's why exactly. the special cards. And the, and the other, the other weird, that, you know, the other variability is is that what cards are you holding? Do they let you maybe fly somewhere that would be more beneficial or not? Right. Um, right. Yeah. But it's yeah. it's, uh, it's got to be hard, but not impossible. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Got to give the players challenge, but without making them feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of. Um, yeah, maybe that's a, a topic. Next time we get you on the war room, we can come and talk about you know how do you how do you balance things and how do you test how do you test for balance? You know, that's that yeah, might even be and a better balancing way a historical game versus a horror game or a fantasy or sci-fi game is different, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Because you're limited to having to do with what was there. Right. You can't just make up, oh, yeah, there's a regiment that showed up out of nowhere. What do you mean? <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, ultimately, this is a game. Right. Right. No matter how you, you know, it's a game. And a fictional game, have too. A fair chance to win the game. Yeah. A game. <laughs> yes. Well, I had a great time again, Herman. We'll Thanks. Yeah, it was fun. I'm glad soon. we got back yeah. into this. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I know we did a, a bunch in the past, and it's been a while, and we finally got our schedules hooked up, and uh, yep. looking forward to winning next time. So thanks, everybody, for coming out. We'll try. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Show, uh, I appreciate it. When we're, next time we can schedule, uh, probably be in the next couple weeks or so, we'll see if we can get something done. So Yeah, it's going to be before Tim and Fred, Fred. Uh, PressCon, so that'll be before PressCon, yep. There you go. And Dwayne, thanks for coming by. And uh, Tony, have a good trip tomorrow. He's going to see his in-laws and Viper Dave. And have fun. Nerd Tony. Workshop. We'll see Nerd Workshop tomorrow in the War Room. So Good luck, Nerd Workshop. <laughs> We're going to give him hell. I mean, yeah, no, I it'll be great. It'll be great. <laughs> thanks, everybody. We'll see you all Take tomorrow. Care. Thanks. Bye.